Hello everyone, in this video I am going to solve this exponential equation by three methods. Method 1, method 2, method 3. Divide by 4 power x, division by 10 power x and third one is dividing this complete exponential equation by 25 power x. So let us start by method 1 that is division or dividing the complete exponential equation by 4 power x. So let us divide 4 power x, 4 power x, 4 power x. This value will be, both term will get cancelled out, 1 plus 10 over 4 whole power x. So I can write 10 over 4 whole power x. How? By the property of exponent a over b it can be written as whole a over b power n. So now I will write 10 over 4 whole power x by the same property, this property. Similarly, I will write the right hand side 25 over 4 whole power x. Next step, I will write this 25 over 4 as 5 over 2 whole square power x. Now second property of exponent a power b whole power c can be written as a power c whole power b. You can exchange the exponents if it is required. So I will write 5 over 2 whole power x whole square. Now let 5 over 2 whole power x equal to y. So ultimately this equation is 1 plus 5 over 2 whole power x equal to 5 over 2 whole power x whole square. Now substitute 5 over 2 whole power x equal to y. So equation will be 1 plus y equal to y square. In other words y square minus y minus 1 equal to 0. So formation of quadratic equation. A is 1, B is negative 1, C is negative 1. One more important point that is y will be always positive. See this one, this is y will be always positive. This is what y it is. Exponent, whether x is positive or negative or 0, 5 over 2 will be always, if exponent x is positive, negative or 0, that value will be always positive. It cannot be negative. So, let me find out the value first. y equal to minus b. So, 1 plus minus b square minus 4ac. So, minus 4ac, that will be root 5 over 2. So, two roots are there, 1 plus root 5 over 2, 1 minus root 5 over 2. If you check the value of root 5, let me write here, root 5 is 2.236. See, if I will put here 2.236, then this value will come out negative. So, this solution cannot be acceptable rejected. So what is the solution left? That is 1 plus root 5 over 2. Put the value of y that is 5 over 2 whole power x. So I will write 5 over 2 whole power x equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now take log both sides. Let me take this question to the next page or let me take log here. x log 5 over 2 equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now we know that the property of log, log a over b can be written as log a minus log b. So x value will be log of 1 plus root 5 
माइनस लॉग टू डिवाइडेड बाय लॉग ऑफ फाइव माइनस लॉग टू नाउ रूट फाइव पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ रूट फाइव टू पॉइंट टू थ्री सिक्स पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ लॉग टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो वन जीरो पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ लॉग फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन नाइन जीरो सो दैट वैल्यू विल कम आउट जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एट ओके सो दैट वैल्यू अल्टीमेटली कम आउट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव सो दिस इज समथिंग विच वी हैव टू मेमोराइज एक्चुअली बिकॉज वी विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाई अदर टू मैथड ऑल्सो सो मेनली द वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू यू कैन रिमेम्बर दिस नाउ कम टू नेक्स्ट मैथड दैट इज डिवाइडिंग बाई टेन रेस टू द पार एक्स सी बेसिस आर डिफरेंट नंबर्स आर डिफरेंट फोर टेन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाई द स्मॉलेस्ट वन मिडिल वन एंड द बिगेस्ट वन लेट मी राइट let us change this okay uh, now method 2 divide by 10 raised to the power x 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 this value will be by applying those two similar properties which we solved in method 1 so i am writing 2 over 5 whole power x plus 1 equal to 5 over 2 Whole power x. Now see, twenty-five over ten will be five over two. Four over ten will be two over five. Cancel by two. Divide by two. Now, this five over two whole power x can be written as one over two over five whole power x. Is that okay? One over two over five whole power x. Now substitute. 2 over 5 whole power x is equal to y and remember one thing it should be always positive this is something important so equation will be y plus 1 equal to 1 over y multiply both sides by y so y square plus y equal to 1 y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0 this is our quadratic equation a is 1 p is 1 c is minus 1 apply that formula y will be equal to minus 1 plus minus b square 1 is square minus 4 is c to plus divided by 2 so two roots we are getting minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 important point because of your y value is always positive see here this value is always positive so you cannot accept this solution so what is left that is minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 so let us put the value of y so equation will be 2 over 5 whole power x that is y equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2 take log both sides so x log 2 over 5 is equal to log root 5 minus 1 over 2 x value will be equal to log of same property log a over b log a minus log b root 5 minus 1 minus log 2 divided by log 2 minus log 5 now again you have to put the same value root 5 is 2.236 log 2 is 0.3010 log 5 is 0.6990 if you will put all the values respectively then your answer will come out x is equal to uh, i am not writing intermediate values that value will come out minus 0.20208 divided by Minus zero point three nine eight. So x minus minus term will get cancelled out. Our answer will be zero point five two two. So again, it is matching with the earlier one. It was point two point five two five. This time point five two two. 
so third digit it is different but the first two digits are same you can verify also now come to the third method which is common for all we used to divide by let me write method 3 divide by 25 power x 25 power x 25 power x 25 power x same thing this will be 2 over 5 whole square whole x plus 2 over 5 whole x equal to 1 let us consider 2 over 5 whole power x is equal to y so equation will be y square plus y equal to 1 or y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Quadratic equation a1 b1 c minus 1. Let us apply the formula minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root 1 square minus 4 ac that value will come out plus over 2a. Now you will again get the same equation which we calculated just before this. Okay, now you can see this y value is always positive, it cannot be negative. This y is always positive, so this is rejected. Okay, so what is left? y equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. y means 2 over 5 whole power x. Now take log both sides. So x log 2 over 5 equal to log root 5 minus 1 over 2. Again same formula. x will come out directly. I am writing log of root 5 minus 1 minus log 2 divided by log 2 minus log 5. If you put all the values respectively, x will come out 0 0.5222. So it is matching with the earlier one. Do you know why? Because this quadratic formation is same. You can take a pause, you can go back and check this equation is coming twice. Once you are dividing by 10, by 25 power x means this method. And by 10 power x also, if you are dividing, then in both the cases, we are getting same equation. y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0. That is why values are same. By third method also, it is coming out same. I hope you, you, you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and give like impression and share also. Thank you.